The day is here. The match everyone has been talking about, and with good reason. Two teams of strong pedigree, rich in talent, on the cusp of going head-to-head -head in a highly significant confrontation with so much to play for. How will it pan out? We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Greuther Fürth against Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Green. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Niklas Zule starts with Mats Hummels in central defence. Julian Brandt plays with Emre Can in central midfield. And the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Allaire. Could cross it in here. And moving the ball nicely. Cuts it back. Oh, good save. Well, what a great stop that was to deny Dortmund such an early goal. But the warning signs are certainly there. He read it well defensively. Brandt. Nice weight on the pass. Julian Rioson. Malin. Oh, disappointing clearance. Doing everything possible to keep possession. And Dortmund regaining possession. Well, possession seeded. Plenty of support here. Allaire. And back to Brandt. Can he play it in? Marlin. Can they cover up? And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Doing well to keep possession. And intercepts again. Making progress. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, he might have been tempted to caution him, but didn't, Stuart. Yeah, and I like that from the referee. It's not a yellow card for me. And he whips it in. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal.
So back underway following the equaliser. Julian Rioson. Niklas Zule. Brandt. Rami Ben Sabaini. Brandt with it. Aller. Aller! And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Branimir Hergota. Good movement. Corner conceded, an unfussy clearance. Well, they won't get too many opportunities today, so they have to capitalise from set pieces like this. He's driven in the corner. Marcel Zabitza. Adeyemi. Now with Alaire. It should be! A tremendous block. Corner to Borussia Dortmund. What can they do with this one? And deciding to go short with this one. Cuts it back. Good idea. Good looking move. Top notch defending. But the chance still there. And there it is, the half time whistle. Well, very hard to contain in the first 45. Sebastian Allaire. Give us your assessment. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So into the second half, Borussia Dortmund hold the advantage, but it's a long way from being done and dusted here. And possession changing hands. Karim Adeyemi. Marlin. On to Zabica. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Brandt. Now, who can he pick out? Oh, body in the way, crucially. Time for a change then. Who can they pick out? Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Well, they have to pay attention. He cuts it back. 
And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. Let's see about the delivery. Appear to be in two minds. And they could face difficulties here. Well, a wild swing at the ball in the end. That was what it amounted to. Well, they've created very little in the game so far. Unless they can show more guile in that top third of the field, this is going to be a really disappointing day for them. They need to improve, and quickly. Well, Dortmund being afforded too much room. Has someone to play it to. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the impetus they need, as they certainly haven't been at their best today. Well, in possession now and looking to create something of their own. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Nico Schlotterbeck. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Karim Adeyemi spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Sebastian Allaire. Well read to win possession back. And Sabaini. Allaire. Marlin really had to make that save to give them a chance. Well, great save, but now they have to create a chance of their own. Not long left now. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Trying to pick out a teammate. And just wide with the header. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Very quick thinking there. But almost at full time, not quite, and it's a marginal lead for Borussia Dortmund. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long ago. Some of their football has been excellent, but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get their much-deserved victory. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. So two minutes to be added on at the end. And quick thinking defensively. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. And one man who certainly caught the eye, Sebastian Allaire. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.